What up, Black and Blue fan? Welcome to the Black and Blue Review, where we break down the good, the bad, and the ugly of police interaction videos to give you a better understanding of what cops do, what they should be doing out there on the streets. My name is Dale, and I'm an actual police officer out here in California with over 25 years' experience in the business. I'm joined today, like I am on every Black and Blue Review, by a non law enforcement member of the community to help us break down today's video. So, uh, Black and Blue fam, help me welcome to the review, my guy, Jeffrey. How you doing? What's up, fam? How you feeling? Yeah, I'm great, bro. How you doing? Oh, man, I'm good. I can't call it. I can't call it. How's it going? You out in, uh, in Las Vegas, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that movie? Las Vegas. Hot? Yeah. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, it's been hot out here in Cali. I'm sure you've seen the the news of all the fires out here going on. But uh, I have, yeah, yeah, we 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 are safe today. You know, amen. Amen. yes, amen, all that. But uh, we're not here to talk about that because this ain't the weather channel. We're here to talk about some videos <laughs> here, uh, some police videos. I want to get your your reaction to it. And this one here comes to us from. NFL's Tyreek Hill uh, has a confrontation with police out in Miami, Florida. I'm sure you've seen this viral video that's that's been going around about the incident that happened with Tyreek. Uh, let's take a look at it and we'll get we'll get our thoughts on it. Let's let's check this out. All right, so the beginning of this video, you just saw um, the cops' body cam, a black sports car just speed by. And he's going to do an enforcement stop. You see, he's trying to catch up to it. There'll be sound once he actually catches up to him and he contacts Tyreek. So. Let's tell him to pull over. Oh, speeding. No, 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 no. I'm Go forward. Why do you have your seatbelt on? Why do you have your seatbelt on? Like what? Why do you have it up? Why do you have it up? Why do you have it up? I have enough to let you know I'm here. I'll wait until we're in touch. Give my ticket, bro, so I can go. I'm late, man. What you got to do? Keep it down. Hey! Keep your window down. What? What? Honey. Hey, keep your window down. Keep your window down. I'm going to get you out of the car. I think that personally that this is, he's responding to the initial negativity of Tyreek. I understand that. I mean, if there's a certain way to deal with respect and not just authority, but just a person, you know, and tapping on his window, it's a nice car. Of course, you know, he might take some offense to it, but a cop's going to knock on your window. Sorry, brother, as far as right. that goes. But, but after that, you know, I think when he rolled his window up, it, it was a it was a show of defiance, and the cop bit into it by knocking on the window again. There could have been a different way to look at the deal with it, saying, "Okay, well, I see where he's at, but I don't have to be there." You feel me? Because right, that's right, for real. authority, he should have realized what the circumstances was because I'm sure he's replayed it a number of occasions in his lifetime on duty. But, for real, for sorry. real. All right, yeah. No, that's all good. That's what that's what we're here to do. Now, let, let me ask you though: Is actually tapping on a window, regardless if it's a if it's a sports car like he got, or if it's a you know a bucket, you know, does it no. does it really harm does it really harm the car to just you know just tap Not on the window? At all. And now, I, I, how is I he think... how is he gonna get his attention? No, and I, I, that's what I said. He wasn't wrong initially for tapping on the window. Tyreek was being defiant by saying, "Yes, don't tap on my window." Absolutely. So, I mean, he had the defiance is what initiated, but still, I, he should have looked at him as I'm the authority figure here. You know what I mean? So I'm going to control yeah. this. I'm dictating this. You know what I mean? And even right. if he rolled his window up, you know, I would have put my motorcycle in front of him and said, make sure he can't pull off. And said, sir, we're going to need you to roll your window down or you're going to have to get out the car. That can be your choice. Right. Let's continue. All right. Give me that. Get out of the car. Give me that. Break the get, window. get out of the car. Get out of the car right now. 
We're not playing this game. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. What part of God don't you understand? Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. I'm getting arrested, Drew. I'm getting arrested. I'm getting arrested, Drew. I'm getting out, bro. God damn, twin. When we tell you to do something, you do it. I'm you understand? Out, I'm getting out, you understand? Not what you want, but what we tell you. I'm You're a little out. fucking confused. I'm getting out, bro. Too late. Too late. All right, bro. Take Too this late. Deal, bro. Do what you gotta do, bro. We are. We will. Good, good, bro. It is good. Hey, Drew. Hey. Don't worry about it. I hung up the phone. You stop crying. Bro. Y'all. Don't move. Good. Bro, you beat up my window like you crazy. Set him up. Yeah. All right. What, yeah. What you done so far? I, I disappointed in all parties above, to be honest with you. Um, absolutely a lack of professionalism. And he bit into the narrative. You know, I mean, of course, I understand why they put him out. But the aggression was already there. He already had bit into the narrative. He already let him dictate how this was going to go. The cop never had control. He was always responsive. He right. was angry. Right. So, I mean, if you're going to be in a position of authority, then be authority. Right? I mean, because that's what right. the training right. should be. <clears throat> right. He, he, he's got to be professional on all counts. Yeah. And, and, and he's got to be the one to de-escalate. You know, Tyreek exactly. is trying to bring it up. And he got to right. be the right. one because he's he's right. the paid professional. Yeah, Tyreek's not paid to do that, uh, but, but the cop is. So he's got to be the Absolutely. one to be bigger than that, right? Absolutely. And, yeah. and, only, and, and more so because I would imagine that it would have been a repeated scenario that he would have had to deal with more than once in life. So then yeah. my question would be, does he deal with all of them that way? Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's continue. Why y'all beating on my window like y'all crazy for? Damn, y'all, y'all, bro. Bro, bro, yo, bro, dude, beat on my window like he crazy. I ain't do nothing, twin. Damn. I'm on board to the side, though. Hey, don't park there. I'm gonna have a seat. I'll park there. Hey. Let's see. I'm offensive. I'm offensive. Right. No, no, you're doing it now. Go. Hold on. Hold on, twin. Hold on. Hold on, bro. I just had surgery on my knee. I just had surgery on my knee, bro. He's not, he's I just not. had surgery really? on my what knee, bro. I just had surgery in your ears when we got here. Oh, chill, bro. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Hey, don't do, bro. Back up. Hey, call Drew. Call Drew. Call Drew. Call Drew. Hey, call Drew. Okay, so what's happening there is uh, some of his teammates, because he was on the way to the to the stadium. Uh, that was before the game this past Sunday. So a few of his teammates passed by. They saw him, and they pulled over. They start walking up, and the other cops are like, hey, back up, back up. Well, yeah, I, of course, I, I like the, the 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 demeanor of the, the, the one of his teammates in the back because he, he was standing there with his hands up, which yep. probably was yep. a little extra. But obviously, he saw the the aggression, and it, if you notice, the cop that walked into the curve seemed to have a little bit more control and rapport of himself and the situation. But however, when when he was having a problem sitting them down, and he didn't wait for the explanation, the gentleman behind him is the one who was emotional. That was the emotional cop at the window. That was the emotional cop behind him that came and set him down regardless of his knee. And that's the emotional cop that charged off to the gentleman that was walking toward him. So I would say if anybody needs a little bit more retraining, it would be that gentleman. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. And then uh, <laughs> you got anything to say about Tyreek saying he just had surgery on his knee, but yeah, he went out and played that Sunday and he actually balled <laughs> out? <You're laughs> he balled right, out course, too. Right, right. I mean, you know, the cop didn't know it was the truth or a lie, but in the event that it had been the truth, then what kind of liability would it have been? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, again, this this goes down to you know both of them were in the wrong, uh, no, absolutely. But but that but that but that one officer was more in the wrong only because he's paid to not be in the wrong. It more so because he allowed the emotions of a stop and the emotions of an individual to cause him to become emotional instead of yeah personal. yeah 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 he he been into it and and uh tyreek just reeled him in and right, right, right. just got yeah. yeah just 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 got him all up into, into his feelings and all that so right. yeah you, you could see it he was cursing yeah. at him yeah right. what, what do you think about his his language talking as well the officer well, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that he didn't go racist i mean that, that's kind of overplayed and <laughs> not heard of of course it Again, I mean, how you talk to somebody indicates your 
emotions and where you're at. And I think that what he was doing is expressing exactly where he was at that moment and his emotions, which was anger and, you know, a bit out of control for a professional. Yeah. And speaking of professionals, Tyreek is a professional NFL football player, and uh, maybe he felt a little entitled from the beginning. Absolutely. I mean, he's he yeah. zooming down the street in the car. I mean, Tyreek is not right in this situation at all. He initiated the negativity. But Tyreek's not the professional. Tariq didn't pull him over. He got pulled over. The man was conducting yeah. his job. And if he's on his duty doing his job, then conduct yourself as a professional. Right. And you understand that, uh, you know, once Tyreek uh, rolled up his window and, and wouldn't comply with keeping the window down, uh, that he was going to be pulled out. Absolutely. I mean, what if he, like anybody else should be, I mean, it's a matter of safety. You don't know what he's doing when he rolls that window up. His exactly. Right. Exactly. So, you know, because for one, he had that dark tint on there. I mean, you could right. kind of see, you know, only because of the white shirt. But other right. than that, you couldn't see what he was doing, what he was doing with his hands. So that's why we as police officers, we want to be able to see that. So in that instance, hey, bro, you, you got to keep your window down. He wouldn't do it. So, hey, now we got to pull you out. Um, right. They they are in the legal, their legal rights to do that. Um, Absolutely. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a court case, you know, Pennsylvania versus Mims allows officers to do that. Situ so, you know, he's got no leg to stand on there. Um, maybe they didn't have to pull him out so aggressively. I don't know. Um well, again, you know, what I think in, in the narrative that I see consistently is all the cops don't become emotional. There's usually one, two, and then the other stand back. And I, that, I find that to be my level of disappointment, to be honest with you, because at some point, you know, one of his brothers just said, hey, let me pull you over here and let me take care of this because you might be a little bit emotional. You know what I mean? And, and really back in, hey, look, bro, I mean, I'm – if you're working in real estate or in any other market, you know, you get frustrated. You can't yell at a customer. You can't cuss at a customer. You can't tell them because, you know, F girl didn't close right. F you for whatever reason. That, that, that's insane. So then why would the level of responsibility be any different as a cop? Right? For sure. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and here in California, at least, um, that's been the big thing. Uh, duty to intercede. You know, whenever you see an officer doing something that they shouldn't be doing, whether it's as low as being unprofessional or as high as, you know, breaking the law, you're supposed to step in. And, yeah. and, and, and it doesn't it, have yeah. to be major. It could be a mom, hey, major. bro, let me holler at you from here. And yeah. pull him yeah. to the sides. Let, let us yeah, take we, care of this and you step off of this. Right, right. We got this. We got this. And and I've done right. that countless countless times where you know you, you know you don't show out in front of you know the 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 the, the party involved. You just yeah, you know just tell your party, hey bro, I got this. Let, let me handle this. Right. And, and right. they know, and they know. Exactly, and that's how it should be conducted. And when it's not, and there's more than one cop or two cops or three cops, then I mean the level of disappointment grows more because then it's not just the negligence of the emotional cop now anymore. Then right, it's the negligence yeah. of the ones that's sitting there that's allowing him to be negligent. Because when the gentleman had him and he was talking to him, that's telling him to sit down, Tyreek, regardless of his lie or the truth, he was conversing with him, and the other gentleman got frustrated and just came and pushed him down from behind, which escalated it again because he was the one that was yeah, caught. You know what? His... That that right <laughs> there is what, what what baffles me is because the way we're taught is that you know you got a primary officer and then you got a backing officer. Everyone else is the backing officer. So the primary officer, the one who initiated the stop, he, right. he was, you know, he was professional. He was calm. And this other officer just jumps in and, you know, we call it jumping your call and all that, you know, Hey, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be silent watching my back. You know, that's, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be involving yourself unless I ask you to, or, or you need to because, of, because of safety reasons, he didn't, he didn't need to involve himself in that manner. I agree. 110%. And on, I agree that all parties involved were, were, were disrespectful to each other. And respect begots respect. And if yep. Tyreek had showed a little more respect initially, the whole process probably would have went a lot smoother and he probably would have had a ticket and made it to the game. Yep. And as of as of now, as of I think it was late uh, earlier today, Tyreek made a statement apologizing, saying that he, you know, he was in the wrong, but, uh, you know, he's still saying that you know, he didn't need to be pulled out the car like that. Um, as of yet, I haven't heard anything from the police department, you know, or from that officers. Right. Well, I mean, I think it's, it's commendable. 
other brother to, you know, to look back and reflect on it and say, okay, well, hey, you know, I was tripping a little, you know, so, okay, I, I was wrong. But at the same time, as a man, to be manhandled by any man will be offensive. Let alone, I don't care if you wear a badge or not, to be put out of your car and, a, and your knee placed in your back and your handcuffed roughly because somebody's frustrated is showing their, uh, there's a lot of ways to subdue a person. There's a lot of ways to control a situation. Once they had the gentleman on the ground, the, the force didn't have to be so much. It could have been handled differently, but, but because the level of frustration was there, the force was there. And they exactly. were responding again. Yeah. Exactly. All responsive. They have to be taught, if not already taught, to be leaders because that's what's expected of you. And to be a leader is not to be manipulated into something, but to be able to manipulate the situation. Sure, 100%. 100%. I agree with you there. Hey, brother, man. Hey, I appreciate you you doing this video with me, man. Uh, you, you be safe and you be cool out there in uh, in Vegas. And uh, hey, like we was talking about, go go Niners. Yeah, that's right. Raiders forever, brother. And I appreciate you. <laughs> and stay safe. All right. All right. All right. You too, brother. All right. All right.